Now, to find the eigenvectors, we need to satisfy the equation a minus lambda i into x bar is equal to 0. This is the given matrix. In this, we have to write it a minus lambda i minus lambda into what is i? The unit matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 into x bar. x bar is x1, x2, x3 which is equal to 0. Now, what is it? This will give you 2 minus lambda. The rest will remain as it is because it is minus 0 minus 0 so 0 minus 1 again 0 what will be the next one 2 minus lambda minus 2 1 minus 1 2 minus lambda into x1 x2 x3 which is equals to 0 0 0 now to find the eigenvectors, this is the equation a minus lambda i into x bar is equals to 0. That is a will be the given matrix, lambda will be the scalar, i will be the unit matrix. Now for each eigenvalue, I am going to find the corresponding eigenvector. First case 1. Case 1, what is the first eigenvalue when lambda is equals to 1? We need to substitute this lambda value here. So, what do you get? 2 minus 1 will give you 1. Directly, I will write the matrix. Instead of writing 2 minus 1, I will write the matrix as 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 2, and then 1 minus 1, 1. x1, x bar is x1, x2, x3, which is equals to 0, 0, 0. Now, matrix multiplication. What is matrix multiplication? Rows into columns. What is the rows here? x1 plus 0, x2 minus x3 equal to 0. The next one is 0 x1 again x2 minus 2 x3 is equal to 0. The last row will be x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equal to 0. Now we have got three equations. We can take this as 2, 3 and 4 and this will be 1. Now look at this, we have got 3 equations. By solving these 3 equations, we need to get the value for x1, x2, x3 whether by rule of cross multiplication or by assumption method. Any method you can use it, whichever is convenient for you. I am going to teach you both the methods. First, when you take the first equation, from 1. We can write the first equation as x1 minus x3 equal to 0 which is nothing but x1 is equal to x3. So, when you are getting some zeros in the equation, do not go for rule of cross multiplication. Go by assumption method where easily you can get the values. Assume that I am going to assume x1 is equals to 1 and one more thing while assuming the values always go for the least assumption like 0 or 1 go for do not go for the higher values. Now when x1 is equals to 1 obviously x3 will also be 1 you can see that because x1 is equals to x3 so we have got x1 and x3 value. Now I am going to substitute x1 and x3 in the fourth equation. Substitute x1 and x3 is equals to 1 in the fourth equation. So when you substitute it here, what do you get? 1 minus x2 
plus 1 is equals to 0. From this we can get x2 is equals to 2. Because minus x2 when you take this 2 to the other side it will become minus 2. So minus and minus gets cancelled you will get x2 is equals to 2. Now have we got the 3 values x1, x2, x3. Therefore the corresponding eigenvector is therefore the eigenvector for the corresponding value is 1, 2, 1. So we have got the eigenvector for the first case lambda is equals to 1. Similarly, we need to get the eigenvector for the next two elements. And then one more thing, how will you check whether the given eigenvector, whatever you have got it is correct or not. You need to substitute this value in any one of the equation and if it satisfy the equation then your eigenvector is correct. Suppose 1 to 1, I am going to substitute in the third equation. You can check 1 minus 2 plus 1. Is it satisfying? You are getting 0 equal to 0. Therefore, the eigenvector what you have got is correct. Similarly, for the next one, for case 2, when lambda is equal to 2, when lambda will be the 2, then the matrix will be 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 2, and then next one will be 1 minus 1 0. So from the a minus lambda i into x bar I am going to substitute lambda value and I have got the reduced matrix x1, x2, x3 which is equals to 0, 0, 0. Now from this we can write down again rows into columns. Write it as an equation. Minus x3 equal to 0. From the second equation, minus x3 is minus 2, x3 is equal to 0. From the third equation, we can write it as x1 minus x2, whereas this will be 0 x3, which is nothing but 0 only. So, I will write it as x1 minus x2 equal to 0. Take this as equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. Now, from the equation 1 and 2, we can directly say that x3 is equal to 0. We can see that from equation 1 and 2, we can directly say that x3 is equal to 0. Now, from equation 3, we can write x1 is equal to x2. Therefore, assume that x1 is equal to 1. If x1 is equal to 1, obviously x2 will be 1. Therefore, we have got the values for x1, x2, x3. Finally, we write that the eigenvector for the eigenvector for the corresponding value lambda is equal to 2 is 0, 1, 1. So, this is how you need to find the eigenvectors for 3 cases. Similarly, you can find out the eigenvector for the third case also. So, for the third case, how will you find out? You will substitute when lambda is equal to 3, you will get some reduced matrix. Again, you will multiply with the I vectors x1, x2, x3. You will get it as 3 equations. By solving the equations, you will get the value x1, x2, x3. That will be the eigenvector for the third case. This is how you need to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And one more thing, while finding out the eigenvectors, see you are getting 0, 1, 1, 1. The eigenvectors, all the eigenvectors cannot be zeros. So, you can get as a note.
all the eigen vectors cannot be zero cannot be zero see you should not get 0 0 0 this is wrong whether you can get 0 1 1 or 0 0 1 you can get two zeros but all the eigen vectors cannot be 0 and one more thing eigen vectors cannot be a fraction always you have to get it as a value and then while you are doing the assumption go for the least value 0 and 1 this is how you need to find the values eigenvalues and the eigenvectors the first step is characteristic equation and the next step is roots of the characteristic equation and the third one according to the given eigenvalues you need to find the eigenvectors